Hi and welcome to Percentage Change. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes chatter available for this video. Check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So we're told that last year there were 300 members of a tennis club. This year there are 372 members. We want to calculate the percentage increase in members. Now, what we are looking for is a percentage increase. So the very first thing that I actually want to know is how many has it increased by? It's gone from 300 up to 372. And so the change in the number of members is 72. Now, in order to find a percentage increase, I want to compare it to the original amount. And therefore, I always compare the change to the original amount. I'm using a fraction, so 72 over 300. Now, if I want to make that into a percentage, what I want to be thinking about is how do I convert fractions to percentages? Well, the aim is to get that fraction over 100. At the bottom, I've divided by three. And so at the top, I need to do exactly the same. 72 divided by three, well, it's actually 24. And so if that is 24 over 100, it means that there was a 24% increase. Next, we're told that a car is bought for £5,000 and it is then sold for £4,000. We want to calculate the percentage loss. Well, again, just in the same way, I want to see first what is the loss that actually happens. So 5000 down to 4000 that is a loss of £1,000. But in order to work out the percentage loss, I need to compare it to the original price. And the original price is the 5000 and so as a fraction, I have 1,000 over 5,000. I want to simplify that in order to make it a fraction over 100. Well, easiest way here, let's take off two zeros. I've got 10 over 50. And so to turn that into a fraction over 100, well, we're just going to double both numbers. We've got 20. And therefore, that is a 20% loss. Now, what we're seeing here is that in order to calculate percentage change, what we want to be thinking about is the change divided by the original value. And depending on if you have a calculator or not, um, either using that fraction to convert it to a fraction out of 100 or with a calculator by simply multiplying by 100. That will give you the percentage change. So we're now going to look at a couple of questions with uh, use of a calculator. So we're told that the average year group size at a school is 140 students. The new year seven group has 203 students. This is higher than the average by what percentage? Well, again, what we're basically looking for is what percentage increase has there been? And so from 140 to 203, that is an extra 63 students. But I need to compare that with the average, with the normal value, so 140, and then multiply it by 100. If I do that, I will get the percentage straight out. So I'll just grab the calculator, and what we've got is a fraction 63 over 140, and we're going to multiply that by 100, and if we do that, we get straight away an answer of 45. And so this is 45%. Try it again with this one. A book normally costs 13 pounds, but is available on sale for 11 pounds 31. By what percentage has the book been reduced? Well, in this case, the first thing I'm actually going to do, and given that it's a calculator, I'm going to use the change, which is 13 take away 11. 0.31. I'm not even going to work that out uh, because I've got a calculator to do that for me. But that is going to be divided by the original amount. So divided by 13 and then multiplied by 100. So again, we just grab our calculator and in our fraction, I'm going to do 13 take away 11.31. That is going to be the change that has happened and divided by the original amount and multiply it by 100. And when I do that, straight away, I get an answer of 13%. So the reduction was 13%.
And so that's what we're going to look at a functional question here. So Philip sells cheeseburgers. A pack of six buns costs 90p. A two pack of burgers costs £2.50. And a pack of ten cheese slices costs £1.50. Each cheeseburger Philip makes uses one bun, one burger and one cheese slice. He sells each cheeseburger for £2.50. What is his percentage profit on each cheeseburger? Well, if we're going to work out profit, the first thing is we need to know how much each one costs. And so if we have six buns, each costing 90p, well, we need to work out what one bun costs. And so 90 divided by six, well, that is 15 pence. So that's 15 pence per bun. There is a two pack of burgers costing £2.50 and therefore a single burger is going to be half of that. So that is going to be £1.25 per burger. And then the pack of 10 cheese slices is £1.50. And so if I only want one cheese slice, well that is going to be 15 pence. And so how much is a single burger costing to make? Well, that is 15 pence plus 15 pence plus £1.25. So if I add all of those together, what I actually get is that it costs £1.55 to make a burger. And so what we were looking for is the percentage profit. And so the first thing I need to know is, well, how much profit is he actually making? So from £1.55 to £2.50, that is a profit of 95 pence. Uh, so every burger he's making 95 pence on uh, in profit. And so if I want to work out the percentage profit, well, I need to take the profit that he is making, which is 95 pence, and compare it with the cost. Now, I must make sure here that I'm using the same unit. So I've used pence at the top, so I want to use pence at the bottom as well. 95 over 155 and I'm going to multiply that by 100 and if I do that I will just get my calculator so 95 over 155 multiplied by 100 and I get 61.2903 on and on and on so let's call that 61.29% he is making more than 60% profit on every single burger. And so we end with the exam question. It was on the Edexcel paper in June 2018, and it was on both Foundation and Higher Paper 1. And it says that Renee buys 5 kilograms of sweets to sell. She pays £10 for the sweets. Renee puts all the sweets into bags. She puts 250 grams of sweets into each bag. She sells each bag of sweets for 65p. Renee sells all the bags of sweets, work out her percentage profit. So this question is going to require us to actually work out, first of all, how many bags of sweets she actually made. So if she had five kilograms of sweets, we need to think first that that is 5,000 grams. So she had 5,000 grams and she shared them into 250 gram bags. And so what we need to do is work out how many 250s go into 500. Well, if we do that division, we can divide by 10 straight away. And then we can divide both of these numbers by um, 5. So that is 100 over 5. And that is 100 divided by 5 is 20. And so she made 20 bags of sweets. Now, if she made 20 bags of sweets... We are told she sells all of them. So she sold all 20 bags for 65 pence each. And so in this case, we now need to know what 20 times 65 pence is. And so the quick way to do this, well, 2 times 65 is 130. So 20 times 65 is 1,300. If we have a look at that, that's in pence. So if I want to turn that into pounds, well, I divide by 100, it is 13 pounds. So she's made 13 pounds. She spent in the beginning 10 pounds. So what profit has she made? Well, her profit would therefore be three pounds. So if I now want to look at the percentage profit, 
I will take the profit that she made and divide it by the cost. And so 3 over 10. If I want to turn that into a percentage, I want to make it a fraction over 100. So I've multiplied by 10 at the bottom. I need to multiply by 10 at the top. That is 30. And so she made a 30% profit.